Just it's 5:30 in the morning. I just dropped Rob Hoffman off at the airport, and I'm heading back to Canada. And I figure that uh, you know what? I'm gonna pop Charlie, Charlie V from our farm. He's in Niagara Falls, and I'm gonna pop in on him at you know around 5:30 in the morning, and see if we can get an impromptu studio tour because I don't come out to Niagara Falls too often. So. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go pop in on Charles. All right, here we are. I found it. Well, let's go wake him up. So we're in Niagara Falls, Ontario, and uh, this is a pretty well like a major road. He's on a pier. He's on a. This looks like a major strip. There's hotels and motels all down there, and there's hotels and motels all down there. So I mean, uh, Charlie's got some good uh, good exposure. A nice big sign out there, all lit up with nice flowers. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Might as well. Might as well pick up the paper for him. Oh, and it's it's raining. And I left my freaking lights on. Eat that. Oh, I guess I didn't. <laughs> it's early. It's early in the morning. Soggy paper. So it's, um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's quarter after six in the morning. And, uh, studio opens 9.30 to 5. Intercontinental, what, uh, all right, ring bell. Hey, hey, Charles. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, <laughs> it's a little early in the morning, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm on my way. <laughs> I'm on my way home. So um, this is your actual studio tour. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> what the so, heck's going on here? So how about you get the? <laughs> Maybe you should get changed. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, how about? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just browse, I'll browse around here for a second, okay? Hey, this is... <laughs> do, you do you normally get up this time? Not really. No, eh? Alright, so I'm just gonna... Let me just take a quick gander here. Got lots of nice big wall portraits, paintings. Of course, some awards. You know, to give them some credibility, show off a little bit. lights on as you can, Charles. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice, Charles. Hi there, little guy. There's lots of big wall portraits when you walk in here. He's got the lights all shined on him. We got a little monster there. Okay, well, Charles, why don't, um, all right, there, now you look, now you look, hey, you clean up pretty quick there. Hey, nice shirt. Thank you. Um, 
Why don't you uh, introduce yourself? And well, uh, I'm Charlie Vanderslips from Baldini Vanderslips Photographers, and it's really early in the morning, James. Yeah, it's, <laughs> what I, time I, is I it? told him it's 20 after <laughs> six. Twenty after six. Twenty after six. What, what are you just doing? Uh, coming in here? Well, we came. Yeah, well, we were in the Rob Hoffman seminar, and uh, I figured since I'm not going to get back out this way, um, you know, figured I'd just kind of pop in. I did it. I do it to Rob. I did. You know, that's kind of what we're going to do. We're just going to pop in because we don't want really anything too planned. So I think I left the door open. Okay. So why don't you? Uh, why don't you? Welcome to our uh, studio and gallery, and um, uh, one thing that uh, Jacqueline and I really believe in on, to have on the walls is have uh, fairly large images, because if you don't show uh, large images, you don't sell them. Uh, as you can see, most of the images on the walls are 30 by 40s, and uh, uh, we actually decorated the whole place also uh, in a fun way um, experience. Uh, you know how you go, may go to a mall or something like that and go into a store and they don't feel comfortable. Um, we, and you want to get out right away. Uh, we did the totally uh, different thing by reading some books on Feng Shui, which is an ancient uh, Chinese practice of how things flow in your house, like even a water fountain at the front door and so forth. There's a well area and, so, and uh, um, so we, the whole thing, your whole place flows. You have like these are what like what 30 40 inch prints? Mm -hmm. These yeah. are what 30 40 inch prints? Yes. That you have up on here all on the walls. That's even one of Jacqueline's paintings there of the falls. Very nice. So this your cons this your consultation room? Um, this is just more like a greeting room. Uh, it could be uh, an area that uh, uh, people may be waiting for us uh, to have a consultation because it's in the next room. Uh, during the t uh, winter time, we also have a fire going, or mm -hmm. um, they can have a look at some of the books there, uh, uh, PP of A books, which uh, Jacqueline and I have a couple of own collection of images and so forth in there, and just, uh, you know, keeps things a little more relaxed and uh, um, has a very warm feeling to the, the place. What, um, what is the, uh, do you know like the square footage? Of uh, what uh, the whole place Not is, or really? No. Um, so this actually I mean, where, where the French doors are. That was uh, that was where our um, house originally was built to. Okay. okay. In a few minutes, we'll show you our studio area and stuff like that. Okay. So we actually added on uh, about eight years ago onto the studio. Okay. So okay, let's let's continue. This is our sales room. Wow. Looks very comfortable. As you can see, we got some celebrities like Wolfgang Puck there, and uh, that's actually right on. Uh, that's Jacqueline's uh, daughter right there from her, her wedding, uh, not this year, but the f uh, year before. And okay. So again, you got big prints, eh? Mm-hmm. Big that's, prints. That's one of uh, using one off the wall sets there. That two sisters. Uh, also. Uh, we project our images on a TV. Uh, it's a fairly small TV right now, but uh, uh, after coming from uh, Rob's uh, uh, seminar on the weekend, uh, gonna get a beginning uh, LCD uh, screen and so forth there. Don't mind if I do. Thanks. Actually, I'll take them off. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> um, Also, we. We use a custom color lab and we use uh, the neat proof books that they got with the um, eight images per page and so forth. So now do you, after you do a session, do you come in here and proof them or do they come back at a different time and they watch all they, the images? They come back they at come a back? time. Uh, I do quite often a, a little bit of a slideshow uh, on a TV or a um, very cheap way of do doing the images is I just burn the images to a CD and put it on my uh, CD projector, right? And I just showed on uh, uh, the TV and um, uh, use the zoom tool on it, right. so they can actually see what they look like in an uh, appropriate head size. So this is where you basically bring the clients, then uh, like uh, wedding shoppers and stuff mm -hmm. like that, to come in, and uh, this is this would be your consultation room, yep. then, right? Also, you can see like we have a corner there with frames and everything too. So you do all your framing and everything in here too. Mm -hmm. Lots samples. Um, was it Larson Jewel or um, um, all the frames, a whole bunch of... Framecraft and uh, Archon. Nice. 
Now that's kind of nice because this is kind of out of the way, so it's not mm -hmm. really cluttery. Yeah, but another selling, selling tool is uh, what I have up here on the floor. Uh, has different sizes. Uh, if people can't visualize uh, how big a how 16 big by 20 or an 8 by 10 is, is compared to a so up to 30 by 40s. Right, right. Floor. Again, because you want to sell the uh, the big prints, yeah. right? You can see that we have. I don't know if you went in the washroom there, but we have less. Uh, this is our washroom for our clients. It's Very nicely course. decorated too. Nice colors. Cool. Kind of a must have with the studio would be a washroom. Yes. So that's just right off the main. I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call this the main drag. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Something this would be uh this is our this is your to our studio area. Holy jeez, this is a big shooting area. This room's uh Do you know the size of this room? This room's thirty-five by twenty-four. Okay, let me just look back. I'm just gonna look back Thirty-five by twenty-four? Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's pretty well it's pretty well like it's like an L-shaped, eh? And it's got 12 foot ceilings. You got 12 foot ceilings, you say? Yes. All hardwood floor? It's a pergo floor. Pergo floor? Mm hmm. And Jack and I actually did this uh, big, huge mural, mural on the floor, uh, on the wall here. Did you ever use that for, oh, uh, for a couple for times? For shoots? Yep. Again, sample prints. That's actually Jack on the. Uh, uh, a photograph that the uh, famous photographer Don Blair did. Oh yes, yes, yes. I think everybody is or should be familiar with Don Blair. He even got a little bit of window light here too, eh? If you, uh, mm -hmm. if need be, another... Uh, Jack one painted that. I was just going to say, also. this one, that backdrop's painted. Um, uh, another, this is another it's a lot brighter in here than it is, it's just the camera doesn't uh, not render out. So, I mean, you got a good size shooting room in here. I'm all set up for doing an executive portrait this morning. Oh, okay. That's what this is. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's a, well, probably one of the best. Uh, that's a nice looking backdrop. I think he's, uh, the gentleman that painted that, was his name was Lamar Williams, and he was from South Carolina, and he's probably the most talented background painter in the world. It's very, very nice. What's in here? Just another entrance to the studio area. Oh, okay. So there they can just come right in and mm -hmm. bam. Okay, I see. Beautiful. And downstairs? Um, is that the dungeon? That's, that's where you lock. That's where you lock people up. It actually. That, that's it, actually it, it looks like it gets. It looks <laughs> like it gets darker on the corner, and it, okay, that's the dungeon. That's that's the living area. Yes. So actually, a house is downstairs. Yeah, Studios. Me. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Then we got uh, some areas that we use out in the back areas too. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll go take a look at the, it's sure. a little yep. bit wet out, but we'll go take a look at the back. Yep. So this is, uh, oh, and I see you've got the whole back wall painted, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, uh, we have used it a little bit for... Uh, I mean, you could, if you, if you need to, you could actually just take the stuff off and do like a huge group yes. shot, right? But you can actually shoot, well, also the next thing you can shoot right through the doors, couldn't you? That's right. Just open up the other door. We had to go, go back further. Look at yeah, the, the light that you get there. Yeah, exactly. I mean that's a nice 12 foot ceiling and all that. So it, you added this on? Yes. Afterwards? Yeah. The stu the, the, just the, this from, part here? From this story here, that down to the following wall we had on um, the year before, or eight years ago, and downstairs it's got uh, nine foot ceilings and stuff like that, and that's a little bit of a living area down there too. Cool. Right on. So let's go take, uh, well, I'll take a look outside then. But what do you got in here? That's just for uh, hanging coats there. and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Okay, and then the one last door here. Yeah, that's uh, uh, leads in the kitchen area, and uh, Jacqueline's got uh, uh, a little art studio and so forth okay. that she can have with natural light, north light, and so. So forth. when the client, when the, when your clients come in here, basically, if they've never been here, they would never know that you are actually you actually lived here too. Right? Like it's the mm -hmm. business is completely separate from your home life. Mm -hmm. So cool. So your backyard. Um, how do we get there? Well, let's go. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go and get wet. Yep. Okay. <laughs> How long have you been in this location, Charles? Eleven years now. And I was noticing outside that uh, Lundy's Lane when I drove down because it's all full of hotels, and motels. It's pretty well like a main drag then, right? It is a main drag. So I mean, you got a lot of exposure coming through here. Yes. Hence the big old sign you got yep. in the front. You stay here. Too. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, someone just standing right here. Well, yeah, you got a lot to know. Like, this, this is, is nice. This is, this is really here. nice greenery in here, too. I mean, this is lush. You use this? I would use yes, this. I do. Okay, because I'd use this a lot. Here, we'll give us a. Why oh, you even look at. Jesus. You know, look at way back there. Kind of you show this right. No, no, but you could use that. <laughs> yes. Oh, what, what is that, a shed? Uh, it was originally our garage. <laughs> Oh man, this is we this is use. really this is really lush back here. We were, uh, it's a jungle. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it, it it literally is, right? I mean like uh, do you have uh, some off the wall sets and everything in here? But I this is really yeah, I would. That's uh, cool. I'm actually thinking of putting uh, uh, sand and everything in here, and just to maybe uh, be able to have kids and stuff like that. I mean, look how. I mean, because it's so lush like this, you probably you got a lot of directional light coming in here. Yes basically have a whole little you could have a whole little shooting park back here I mean well, really over, overgrown right now but I often to use this little door, little it's, door it's, just, uh, it's just nailed to the right right there I got it at the junkyard and uh, use it for those photographs well this is pretty sweet <clears throat> best of both worlds you know I mean like I said you've got uh, You've got quite a bit of cover with some open space, so you know during the day you'd have some really nice just uh, a little bit of grasses and stuff like that over there. Then I got a, a barn board over here. And use this wall oh, here yeah. plus the, the little steps definitely. and everything here. Cool. It's a nice studio you have, Charles. Thank you. Uh, you shoot mainly weddings, well, well obviously portraits, I mean, you do a little bit of everything, eh, uh, from what we see on the walls? I would say it's probably 50-50, uh, doing family portraits, weddings, a uh, little bit of commercial work, uh, executives, I have a gentleman coming in today that's running for uh, uh, politics and so forth. Right, right, right. Uh, he's going to be using it for a billboard, and, cool. um, you know, so i got a good base of uh, uh, clientele, clientele and, and so forth, and as, as you know, uh, studied with lots of great photographers and uh, been around for 20, 20 plus years and so forth. So, got a great base. Uh, I, I continue my education. I just uh, finished with uh, the course with Rob Hoffman uh, on the uh, last couple of days and uh, learned a few things. And James helped us out and we had a great time over there. What, um, you're shooting all digital too, right? That's right. Uh, with, with just what? two years ago now. Just two years ago now? Yep. Uh, just using the Nikon D70S's. Right. Gonna move up to the D, uh, D200's pretty soon. And how are, uh, how are your clients liking it? I mean, uh, uh, no, complaints. no no complaints. Would they even know the difference, really? All those photographs that you saw in the were all on all the all those big portraits all were those taken big with digital. They saw them. That's good to know because they're into the jungle again. You don't have any field beavers in here at all, do you? Just uh, every once in a while, I get stung by a bee. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Just gonna go to the. Got a little bit of a gardener. I like doing gardening. Oh yeah, you do all the gardening. I do all the gardening. Well, good for you. So I got a lot of wildflowers and stuff around here, eh? Yep, mostly an annuals and perennials. Beautiful. Well, Charles, thanks for joining. Thank you so you. much. Oh we'll no problem. Up next time, okay? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? How about I take you out for breakfast? Okay. Is that, that good? Because I'm gonna get a bite to eat before we leave. Because it's now about 20 to 7. It's time to eat. So. Yeah.